It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. Let's roll. Our coverage of the NFL has brought us to Space City and NRG Stadium, right next to where the old Astrodome sits here in Houston, Texas. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage, and maybe six points, too. Kaimi Fairbairn ready to get this one going. And away we go from NRG Stadium. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent, though, in the stardom, quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to. And just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen, because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with the pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. And he's able to maneuver this up past the 30. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. From the 32. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And now they need to get four on third down. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Motion in the tight end now. Allen on third and short. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That one gains seven. And that's good for a Bills first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Receiver in motion going left. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you've got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Another one for Cook. Escapes a defender. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. So on fourth down, on comes Sam Martin to handle the punt for the Bills. And he'll bring in this fair catch at the 13. So here come the Texans for their opening drive. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. 
CJ may not have been the number one pick in the 2023 NFL draft, but he was clearly the number one rookie in all of the NFL last year. Near unanimous rookie of the year. In fact, even earning MVP votes, Kate, it wasn't just a little bit of a rebound and a rebuild for Houston. It was a remake in a hurry. And what can he do in his sophomore season? It will be must-see TV. They'll begin with a run by Mixon. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Shotgun now for Stroud. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to go out of bounds up past the 15. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. A less than ideal third and eight here. Throwing with a blitz on the way. That's caught for the first. They rip off a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45. Brock with a new set of downs to boot. First down, Stroud. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You know what I call that, Kate? Punch. And you took a punch, but then you countered right back. You give up a big play, massive play, but you don't hang your head. You come right back. You get a sack of your own, and you change the momentum as quickly as you can. Offense to the line for second down. Out of the shotgun, a give to Mixon. And he's able to get this down to the 36. I got to really rack my brain, Kate, to remember a play, a run in this league that nice that doesn't end up getting an offense the first down. He did all he could to will this drive forward. All plays on the table here for third and three. From the gun, Stroud, complete beyond the marker. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. That's good for seven yards. And it sets up a Houston first. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First and 10 are on to mix it. And he'll get down to the 21-yard line before he stopped. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. It's mixed in on second down. Down to the 10. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, Houston. The Texans drive the length of the field and take a 6-0 lead. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. Well, Brock, we normally talk about complimentary football at some point every week. So how about the way they've begun this one, huh? Force the punt and then cash it in for six on their opening drive. Do we do it every game? It feels like it. Almost every game. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. Because that's what the NFL is about. We all know the margins are so small in this league. And the team that typically plays the complimentary ball is typically the team that wins. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Fair 
Polar Bear and has it all set up for the kickoff. Ty Johnson now to return. He's stopped on the return at the 27. Here comes the Bills offense for their second drive of the game. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Nabs along that sideline, Samuel. And they'll be at midfield here as he gets out of bounds. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and... On that last call, not sitting well with D'Amico Ryans. He's going to make them review it. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin for mm -hmm. error, and it happens oh so fast. So the challenge ends up successful. He, in fact, did not get both feet in. This is incomplete. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Oh, he put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. I think it's fair to say, in the eye in the sky didn't lie, without that ball being tipped, we are looking at the big game. A missed opportunity to push their offense in a great play on the other side to deny the throw. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Bails out of, and they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth, but a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not gonna cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. The Bills with a punt team out there. On the return for the Texans, Steven Sims. Got 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Texans and running back Joe Mixon headed out for their next series. And among all the team's pass catchers partner, he has been one of the brightest spots at this opening half. I mean, I think we agree he's outshined several of their receivers and tight ends that we're used to seeing be the guys to get those targets. The Texans set up nicely as they come up to the line, first and ten. Stroud off the play fake. Pass taken in by Diggs. And a solid gain there, gets him across the 45 before he goes out. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. From the 43, finding Collins. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Now it's Stroud. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to go out of bounds just short of that red zone. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. 
After a good pickup, they've got second and four. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. He's got it near the eight. And he will score, it's a Houston touchdown. The Texans take a 13-0 lead. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. To rock this offense, looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. set up for the kickoff. Returning it from the four. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Bills set to take over offensively. And they're hoping they can keep the punter off the field this time around, Brock, after he's been called upon each of their first two possessions. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Allen to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit when those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. From the 37, Cook calls it in. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first, with some room to spare. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing from the gun here. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And now it's second down. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he'll take it ahead down to the 33. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Allen from the gun here on third. Here's a throw on the out route. Complete. And they take him down right along the 30. All you can do is shake your head sometimes. Sure, the pass play works, but they come up just an inch or two short for the first down. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. 
From the right hash, it's a 47-yarder. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll get him back to 11. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Vast now to kick this away. Damian Pierce now to return it. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. The Houston offense out and ready to set up shop. And that lead they've got, Brock, they are never going to have to worry about losing it if they keep scoring every time they touch this football. Is that how it works? It, it surprisingly is. You know, if you have the lead <laughs> and you don't lose it, you win. <laughs> <laughs> and that type of start? Well, you wanted all 17 games of a season, but you're lucky to get it more than once. They've got first down from the 31. On play action, here, Stroud. He's got him. That's Mixon. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason, when one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Completed to Collins. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route. They get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Stroud now on third. Cut by Diggs. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. So that connection for a first will bring us to the end of the first. It's a two-score game early. We'll make our return to NRG Stadium after this. Welcome back. We'll begin the second quarter with the Texans in possession. They've got first and ten here, looking to add to their lead. Running back sent in motion left. Pass caught by Mixon. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate. One thing you see is the completion percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, a big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers that time, a running back in the flat. Shotgun now for Stroud. Digs there to bring it in. And he's short of the first after a mild game. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. Third and just two to go. Running with Mixon out of the gun. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. You love a huddle? Kate, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there that he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. First down, and they go right back to him. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. 
Going to the ground again on first. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 21. Reeled in at the seven. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans make it a three-possession game. Nico Collins with the touchdown. Three drives, three touchdowns. It has been wash, rinse, repeat for them offensively, Brock, as, well, we all wait for this defense final little backbone before this becomes a runaway. Yeah, I'm a little torn up here in this booth because you're exactly right. Offensively, this is just machine, surgical. Defensively, you're running the risk of being embarrassed here pretty quickly. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Going to be taken in at the eight. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give him a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Allen now on first down. Quick hitter complete. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and 10, here's Allen. He beams one, deep right side. Taking the deep shot there on first down. Okay, no luck connecting. It's incomplete. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Third down, one yard to go. Again, it's Cook. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. First and 10. Ball set up at the 48. Allen looking to throw. He's got it. Room to run. And they make the tackle at the 38. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. First down throw for Allen. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. 
DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. He completes it in traffic. And a nice gain here, but it's stopped short of the first. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. And he let his man too much there, Brock. Incomplete, fourth down coming up. You know, these third and short situations, you rep them all the time. Snap after snap, rep after rep. You're expecting man-to-man -man coverage in that down and distance, and you're expecting to execute. At time on third and short, they can't get the job done. They'll go for it with a little pop pass to him, sweeping across. And his short gain gets them a new set of downs. It's first downs like that, Kate. Just with the toughness of these receivers, that I can't help but think about some old school dudes. These playbooks have evolved so much in the NFL. Can you imagine some of the physical receivers back in the day and how badly they would have loved to play in the systems like this to just find a way time and again to put the ball in their hands? Has some space inside the 15. And he's finally hauled down at the 12. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. Shakir in motion right. From the red zone now. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills fighting back and shaving six off that lead. Keon Coleman, the touchdown. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Bass now to kick this away. Here's Steven Sims with the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Texans and this running back headed back out for a new series. And eventually, Brock, one of their drives is going to fail to reach that end zone. But through three possessions so far, they have been perfect. Yeah, and in order for that to happen, somebody somewhere on this defense has got to rise to the occasion. They're out and set, first and ten. From the gun, Stroud. And for the first time, one of his throws doesn't find a home. It's incomplete, but boy, what a streak he had to begin this game. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. A give to Mixon up the middle. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. All plays on the table here for third and three. Stroud off the play fake. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. I think it's safe to say that without that ball being tipped, we are looking at a big game. 
That's a missed opportunity to push that offense, but an even better play defensively to deny the throw. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. Same as a touchback here. Fair catch made at the 20. The Bills and James Cook making their way back out on offense now. They got the job done there last time out. Still trailing by a lot, though, so they're going to need a repeat of that touchdown here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Allen on the play action. Complete to Shakir. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's a give to Cook. And he's going to work his way almost to midfield. That's stopped at the 48. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. From the 48. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. It's a gain of four. And that's good for a Bills first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. On first down, Allen. The Texans close it in, and they will get him! And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. We've hit the two-minute warning now at NRG. The Bills looking for a score before halftime. All right, here we go. Second down. Another try following the sack. Mm, that throw behind his intended target. No luck finding his receiver that time. So they're left facing third and long. Okay, I know nobody's perfect. And all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. Here's Cook. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Sam Martin not again now to punt it away. Steven Sims deep to return. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. Now this one, not much of a chance of it staying in the field of play. They'll mark it out at the 13-yard line. The Texans returning their offense and this running back to the field. And I'd say the ROI on his early touches have made him a, a pretty good investment for first-half work. He's gotten off to a great start here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Stroud. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond.
throwing is Stroud. Here's the throw on the out route, complete. Give him 30 yards on that one. And it sets up a Houston first. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Big play to begin the drive. That's up to the 37. This round throw in here on first. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans boat racing them to the halftime locker room. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. set up for the kickoff. He fields it from the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Bills back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They're trailing, but there's enough time, Brock, that they could get a scoring drive to attack that here before the break. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing here, Allen. Complete out to the right side. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. Shakir in motion right. Throwing now on first down. Allen. Complete to Coleman. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That one hits for 30. And that's good for a Bills first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Working from the gun, it's Allen. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. And now they face second down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. To throw again, it's Allen. This is reeled in by Valdez Scantling. Decent gain here, but short of the first. All plays on the table here for third and three.
to the air again. Allen complete beyond the marker. And they bring him down at the seven yard line. A nice gain of eight there, and it brings them to first and goal. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Allen going to throw again. And it's caught. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Now the Bills use their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Again, Allen to the air. And through the back of the end zone and out of bounds. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharpshooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. So now here's third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He's on the move. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills chop some of the lead off before the half. Josh Allen, the touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith. Right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Bass on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Probably looking at our final snap of the half here on first down. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. One last play before the break. One of the tight ends in motion left. Keeping it with Mixon. And he doesn't get much there on what turns out to be the final play of the half. It's halftime here in Houston with the Texans enjoying a lead at the break. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. It was a terrific first half from the former Offensive Rookie of the Year, C.J. Stroud. He threw a first-quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three-touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter.
Bass now to kick this away. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The home teams and C.J. Stroud all set to go for their next drive. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. On play action, here's Stroud. This is complete to Schultz. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Quarterbacks will look for their tight ends short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Oh, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. From the 29. This one quickly to Dell. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Battle coming up on third and inches. He's got it on the bootleg. Digs there to bring it in. It goes for a 38-yard pickup. And the Texans are going to have a first down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helped set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. On the move, headed right. He's keeping it. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around to call him his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. From the red zone now. Escapes the pocket. And that play is brought to a halt, they're going to say, at the five-yard line. That's just the case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. It's second and goal. Shotgun now for Stroud. He's got it. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Nothing on that play, and now it's fourth and goal from the two. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Kaimi Fairbairn out there now to try a field goal for the Texans on this fourth down. It doesn't get much easier than this. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that extends their lead to 14. In that close, kicks have to be automatic. That won't stop the head coach, though, from holding his breath for a couple seconds until he sees it's up and good.
Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Fielded at the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. They're out and set. First and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Into traffic, complete. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Slot man in motion right. From the 34. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. It was there. He just couldn't corral it. But still plenty of options left on third and short. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Two yards on the pickup, and that's good for a Bills first down. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. So now here's third and five. They send him left out of the slot. Allen on third and short. Pass complete to Cook. Duke's at a one stop. It's a 13 yard play and that's enough for the first. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Trying to throw here out of the gun. It's a quick throw, and it's caught on the slant. And he's taken down at the 30. He had to pick up a 14 yards as the chains reset. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. First and 10 now from the 30. Throwing it again here. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's good for a Bills first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. They're now set for first and 10. Receiver in motion, headed right. Throwing now on first down, Allen. And he will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills start the second half with some needed points. 
All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Bass on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. This offense running out for a new series, led by their running back. They've certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them, so they can really use some more points on this drive. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Mix it on the counter. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They'll empty the backfield and motion him right. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Stroud now on third. Pass caught by Mixon. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. He manages a gain of eight there. And it sets up a Houston first. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Here's Mixon. And he's going to work his way almost to midfield. That's stopped at the 48. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage. It sets up your play action. And it keeps that defense honest. Stroud off the play fake. He puts some juice on it. Brought in inside the 20. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Nico Collins with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Fairbairn now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
Baron has it all set up for the kickoff. Returning it from the four. This return makes it up to the 25. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Looking from the gun, it's Allen. Quick hitter complete. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's Bills football. They trail late, but this game's still very much in reach. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. On first down, Allen. Finds a man on the right side. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Play action now with Allen. And it looks great flying through the air, Bronk, but problems on the business end as it falls to the ground. Third down coming up. I mean, you could see it right there. The trajectory of the ball changed as it was in flight. You know, on shorter throws, receivers, they could focus, they can adjust quickly. But on a long-distance throw like that, a tip, well, it really alters the course of the ball and makes it so tough to make an adjustment in time. A little touch pass here, trying to move the chains. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Well, that's a tough one because you could see the beginnings of what looked like an explosive play. But let's give some credit here, Kate, to the defense. A great job to bottle him up before it came to fruition. Less than a yard needed here on four. They'll go. Allen. He finds him beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best. And you get to see how you handle the most pressure. And it turns out well, they handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing. Ball on the 45. First and 10. To the air again, Allen. He'll get this to Samuel. And he's able to get this down to the 36. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Again, Allen to the air. That one's complete right side. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Allen now on first down. That won't be caught outright, it's incomplete. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. So that brings up second down. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate, on shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball, and it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. Allen gonna throw again. Connection made to Coleman. 
And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. The Texans bringing out an extra DB. Third down coming up. Play action now. Allen. Completed left side to Samuel. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. To the line we go. They're set, first and ten. From the red zone now. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he'll push them down to the six-yard line. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign that they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Third and a lone yard coming up. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest. It gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills now within one score in the fourth. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. you got to be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. So here comes a big play. Bills going for two. Allen looking to throw this. And this is going to be caught. Getting aggressive as they trail in this game. And that takes him two points closer. Well, he just caught them the touchdown, Brock. Defense obviously aware of him as they line up for two. How do they lose him? How do they get it right back to him for the conversion? <laughs> because he's that good. <laughs> in, mo in moments like this, Kate, it's not even about the play. It's about the player. Mm. And when you got a player of this caliber, you find every way to get it to him. And just because he scored the touchdown doesn't mean you don't go right back to that well. I love it. So here's the kickoff, Brock. Just six points now separating our teams. Here's a return from the seven. Finds some space. He's past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The home teams ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year's over. The Texans set up nicely as they come up to the line, first and ten. Now begin with a run by Mixon. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. 
Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run, but I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Little off center, his man just couldn't adjust to it. Can't cover it much better than that really well covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play, and out third down. He's back to throw. That's incomplete, trying to set up the screen there. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. The Texans set to punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And the Bills will take over possession. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Allen setting up to throw. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Second and three now. From the 32. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and that's good for a Bills first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. First down, ball at the 36. He's tackled after gaining a handful. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. And that takes us to the two-minute warning in Houston. Bills trail by six. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Looking to throw it. Complete to Coleman. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. The Bills are going to go ahead and call their first time out. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. They send a receiver in motion right. Now to throw. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. In a good spot here, second and inches. To throw. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Defender smart there to get a hand on that one. So it's going to be third and short coming up. I'm just going to say maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. They'll send him over right. Throwing now. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. 
And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. First down, ball at the 36. They put a receiver in motion right. Here he is to throw. Pass caught, nine yard line. And he will score, touchdown Buffalo. The Bills find a way to tie it late. So it was touchdown or bust here on this drive, Brock. A field goal wouldn't have done it, but they get the score they needed, and now a critical extra point forthcoming. And now what I love, the pressure shifts to the other sideline. They do have some time left on the clock, and remember, all they're going to need is a field goal to go out and steal this one in the end. Now the kick team out to steal away the lead with a point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll take the lead. Bass now to kick this away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. Coverage team gets him down at the 26 yard line. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. He'll look to throw it. He's got him. That's Mixon. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Second and three now. Back to throw. And he won't get it there. Defender finds a throw and breaks it up. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. He'll throw it. Connection made to Dell. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Shotgun, a give to Mixon. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. Still one more in their pocket to use. Second and six coming up here. Here he is to throw. Working the sideline. Oh, he got it. Drug the feet. That's a catch. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. 
slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally, but really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. Third down, Mixon gets it. And he'll go down here at the 16. It's a gain of four. And the Texans are going to have a first down. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Kaimi Fairbairn on now as we see how he handles this moment. It's a 33-yard look from the right hash. They call a timeout here. They've got the timeout. So with five seconds left, a kick could win this game. So now it's all up to Kaimi Fairbairn. It's a 33-yard look from the right hash. And that one is good! And that, folks, is your game winner! That field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one isn't over, and that lead certainly isn't safe. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They're out and set, first and 10. One final shot here. And this one falls incomplete. No miracles on the final drive today. This game is over. So it's a win for the Texans. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So that puts a bow on this one for my partner, Brock Heward, and everyone involved on our crew. I'm Kate Scott signing off. This has been another presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Texans, as we'll see you next time from Houston.